गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कॉम्प्लेक्स रिएक्शन रिएक्शन ऑफ पैरल एंड कॉन्जिकेटिव रिएक्शन द केमिकल कैनेटिक्स इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री विच डील्स विथ फाइंडिंग आउट द रेट और वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग द सेम नॉर्मली अ केमिकल रिएक्शन आर कैटेगराइज इन टू टू टाइप्स एलिमेंट्री रिएक्शन एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स रिएक्शन so elementary reaction means a reaction which takes place in one step and a complex reaction means the reactions which takes place in more than one step if the reaction is a elementary reaction then the rate or velocity of a chemical reaction depends on the same step of the reaction so but if we come to a complex reaction in a complex reaction it involves more than one step so the rate or the velocity of a chemical reaction is decided by slowest step in the process and that slowest step is called rate determining step and when we are talking about a complex reaction we come across different types of complex reaction so the kinetic studies of the complex reaction will vary depending on the type of the complex reaction is involving the rate of overall reaction is accordance with a stoichiometric equation for that reactions there are broadly four types of complex reactions number 1 parallel reaction number 2 consecutive reaction number 3 reversible or opposing reaction and number 4 chain reaction so let us learn one by one the first one is a parallel reaction it is also called side reaction so these are the reaction which follows two or more path to give two or more products the preferential rate of the reaction will change by varying the conditions like pressure temperature or catalyst among all these reactions the reaction which gives maximum yield of product it is called main or a major reactions while the other reaction which gives a less quantity of a product it's called side reactions or parallel reactions as you can see in this parallel reaction a is a reactant it can give a product b or product c let us take k1 and k2 are the rate constant of both of these reactions respectively let me consider the value of k1 is larger compared to k2 then as k1 is more the formed product b will be a major product so a to b is a major reaction while a to c will be a side or parallel reactions so let us uh, consider both of these reactions they are first order and let molar concentration of a is a concentration of reactant a at a time t we know that rate of a reaction is a uh, represented by differential equation as well as based on law of mass action it says that rate of the reaction is equal to rate constant into molar concentration of reactant so the differential rate equation for a rate of first reaction that is r1 which is Q, which is getting a to b is minus da upon dt equal to k1 is the rate constant of first reaction into molar concentration of reactant a let us call equation 1 and r2 is the rate of second reaction which converts a to c it has a rate equal to minus da upon dt which is equal to k2 into a let us call equation number 2 so the total rate of disappearance of a that is reactant a is minus da upon dt is equal to sum of both of these rates so we get this equation take molar concentration of a common so we get k1 plus k2 as a common so k1 and k2 both are the constant so constant plus constant is a, another constant let us call k dash let me call this as equation number 3 so then we integrate the equation so while integration the molar concentration of a i will shift it to left hand side and dt i will shift to 
right hand side and i will integrate on integration of that equation 3 with a molar concentration of a changes from a not to at with a time change from 0 to t so integration of minus da upon a a changes from a not to at equal to k dash integration of dt varies from 0 to t now integration of minus da upon dt the minus is a constant taken outside integration of da upon a is nothing but ln of a with the integration values a not to at varies equal to k dash is a constant t value varies from 0 to t the values are substituted we get this minus ln of a t minus ln a naught equal to k dash t now this is of the type ln a minus ln b which is equal to ln a upon b because of this negative sign we multiplied both the sides ln of a naught minus ln of a t it is of the type ln a minus ln b which is equal to ln a upon b we solve this and k dash is nothing but k1 plus k2 values are substituted we got equation number 4 here a naught is initial concentration of reactant a and at is molar concentration of reactant a at a time t so this is a one equation what we get similarly if we divide the equation 1 by equation 2 equation 1 was r1 equal to k1 into molar concentration of a equation 2 is r2 equal to k2 into molar concentration of a so on dividing this we get r1 upon r2 equal to k1 upon k2 this is equation number 5 so this equation 4 and 5 is used to calculate rate constant of parallel reaction let us see some of the example the reactions of ethyl bromide with caustic potash that is koh in alcoholic solution it gives ethene and in aqueous condition it gives ethanol similarly the dehydration of 2 methyl 2 butanol it gives two products one is 2 methyl 2 butene and 2 methyl 1 butene among these two 2 methyl 2 butene is the major product third example bromination of bromobenzene will result ortho dibromobenzene or para dibromobenzene now let us look into consecutive reaction this is also called sequential reaction the reaction which takes place in two or more steps one after another is called consecutive reaction or the reaction in which the product formed in one of the elementary reaction act as a reactant for some other elementary reaction is called consecutive reaction as you can see in this case a is a reactant it gets converted into product b that product further undergoes chemical reactions and forms product c where k1 and k2 are the rate constant of successive reaction with if k1 and k2 are not equal so if we plot a graph of concentration versus time uh, it is observed that the molar concentration of reactant a decreases exponentially while the intermediate product b initially it increases and later on slowly it decreases while the final product c it starts increases from zero till the maximum at the end of the reaction let us do kinetic studies on this consecutive reaction so let me consider a reaction a gives rise to b gives rise to c where k1 and k2 are rate constant of successive reaction then the rate equation of a is given as minus da upon dt is equal to k1 into molar concentration of a the negative sign i will shift to other side so we get equation number one we integrate this equation one and when a concentration of reactant a changes from a naught to a with the time changes from 0 to t we integrate both the side and on integration with these limits we get ln of a 
values of a changes from a naught to a and here minus k1 is a constant integration of dt is a t varies from 0 to t now ln of a in this particular range we get ln of a minus ln of a naught and which is can be written in the form ln of a upon a naught equal to here minus k1 into t so now ln if we shift other side will be exponential term that is e raised to minus k1 t then we shift a naught to right hand side and we get equation number two so equation number two gives a molar concentration of reactant a at a time t the net rate of the formation of b is given by as you can see here the concentration of b is initially increases due to a first reaction and then decreases by the second reaction so the net rate for formation of b is k1 into molar concentration of a minus k2 into molar concentration of b so from equation 2 that molar concentration of a is substituted as k1 into a naught e raised to minus k1 t and this equation has a two variables one is molar concentration of b and a time t then we integrate this equation and we simplify that is molar concentration of b equal to a naught k1 upon k2 minus k1 in a bracket e raised to minus k1 t minus e raised to minus k2 t consider this as equation number three so as initial concentration a naught and during the process the concentration of reactant changes to molar concentration of a b changes to b and product c changes to molar concentration of c and by the law of conservation of mass uh, we know that a naught equal to sum of molar concentration of a molar concentration b and molar concentration of c so using this equation we can calculate molar concentration of c as molar concentration of c is equal to this molar concentration of a and b is shifted to other side so we get this last equation here the value of molar concentration of a and molar concentration of b is substituted from equation 2 and 3 uh, in this equation as you can see a naught is a common it is taken out so we get here 1 minus e raised to k1 t minus this whole term ne later we will take lcm k2 minus k1 uh, so uh, this particular term is multiplied by k2 minus k1 into this now i will multiply each term so k2 into 1 will be k2 k2 into e minus e raised to minus k1 t is this k1 into 1 is minus k1 minus k1 in minus e raised to minus k1 t is this minus k1 e raised to minus k1 t is this my uh, then minus k1 minus e raised to minus k2 t is plus k1 e raised to minus k2 t so if you observe here these two terms are uh, same with the opposite sign so they get cancelled each other so resultant we find this equation where we take k2 common in first two terms and minus k1 common in this last two, two terms so this is the equation what we get for the concentration of mole uh, c so the rate of formation of final product c is given by k2 into b so these are the different equations which by which we can calculate the molar concentration of reactant a intermediate b and final product c uh, during the intervals of reaction so let us see the examples the first example is a decomposition of dimethyl ether in a gaseous phase as we can see here this dimethyl ether converts to methane and formaldehyde which further on reaction this formaldehyde got decomposed to form hydrogen and carbon monoxide the second example is a decomposition of ethylene oxide uh, it forms uh, CH3CHO that is acetaldehyde in excited state which gets decomposed to form methane and carbon monoxide
थैंक यू